Hi, this is Dr. Gopal Reddy. Our today's topic is derivation of term symbols. Here, I've taken some uh, examples. With that, I'll show how to derive the term symbol for First example, configuration. I'm considering here S1 configuration. That is S orbital having one electron in it, where for S orbital, L is equal to zero. <laughs> where L is called as resultant orbital angular momentum quantum number and here one electron is there its spin is up that is resultant spin angular momentum quantum number is equal to up then J J is called as L plus S to L minus S so here uh, you make out the you can't make out the difference and in the you know, coming examples you make out the differences what is means of L plus R minus S so uh, here L plus up that is 0 plus up that is equal to up so where J is equal to resultant total angular momentum quantum number that is so here J that is coupling happening between or interaction happening between orbital angular momentum and the spin quantum number angular momentum quantum number so the J will be arises where J is upper S1 configuration then the spin multiplicity that is called as 2s plus 1 spin multiplicity that is uh, s is equal to up so up into 2s up plus 1s 2 that is given here then if we come to the term which gives the exact uh, the energy or uh, uh, specific uh, representation of energy so there is 2 that is 2s plus 1 is 2 2 and l is equal to 0 where l is equal to 0 means here s will getting here and uh, uh, j value is up so term is 2s up and similarly another example that is p1 configuration for p1 configuration l is equal to 1 and s again because here is one electron is there so s is up then j value l plus r minus s so here we make a difference l plus s l is 1 s is up 1 plus up is 3 by 2 1 minus up is up so that is l values are lying from 3 minus 2 to 1 minus 1 by 2 so the value j values are two values two values are here one is 3 by 2 and up so then the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 here s is up so that 2s plus 1 uh, becomes uh, so here spin is up means automatically you will get to multiplicity is 2 so it gives doublet so here 2 we are getting here so the term is so 2s plus 1 lj so here the spin multiplicity is, remains 2 in the both the cases 2 and 2 here and l values that is l is equal to 1 so that l as l is equal to 1 we are getting a p term that is uh, so l uh, p and p will be here and j values you are having here two values that is 3 by 2 and uh, half so that here 3 by 2 and half we are getting so there are two terms will arise as per so p1 configuration configuration similarly if you come for a uh, different uh, example that is uh, mn uh, 3 plus so mn 3 plus will be having electronic configuration uh, that is uh, 3d4 that means when mn will be in zero oxygen state when will be having atomic number 25 that is argon after argon 4s2 and 3d5 so if it is mn3 plus there will be three electrons are uh, removed from the mn so that two from 4s2 and 1 from uh, uh, 3d5 so the final uh, electron configuration of mn3 plus is 3d4 if it is 3d4 <coughs> the suborbitals will be splitting like this so uh, d orbitals uh, ml values where ml values ml is equal to 2l plus 1 so that uh, for d l is equal to 2 so 2l plus 1 is 5 so that 1 2 3 4 and 5 the values are lying from plus 2 to minus 2 so plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 so here uh, there are four electrons are there in a 3d so 1 2 3 and 4 there are four electrons are there four occupants are here this whereas ml values ml value here plus 2 plus a plus 1 0 minus 1 should sum all the values are here plus 2 plus a plus 1 3 plus 0 
3 minus 1 that is 2. So that ml value when summing all these values are equal to plus 2 and ms that is a spin resultant spin is equal to 2 because plus up plus up plus up and plus up totally becoming so 2 plus up and plus up is 1 1 plus up is 3 by 2 and plus up is 2 here ms value is 2 so that the resultant spin that is 2s plus 1 is 2 into 2 plus of 1 here it is 5 so when a spin resultant spin is 2 then automatically that is resultant spin is uh, 2 i am not shown here so 2 automatically will get data so pentate uh, we are getting here so then uh, j value uh, are lying between l plus s to l minus s so here l value is 2 and s value is also 2 that is 2 plus 2 2 uh, l minus s uh, 2 minus 2 so l plus s is 2 plus 2 and l minus s is 2 minus 2 so l plus s is 4 and l minus s is 0 the values lying between those two that is 3 2 1 and j values are 4 3 2 1 and 0 so then then come to the top so the spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is remains same in all the cases that is 5 that is 5 here 5 here 5 here and 5 here and 5 here and the ml value is 2 that is uh, if it is l value is 2 then that is the term is called as a d so uh, in all the cases the d is remains same and the j value that is varying from 4 to 0 so 4 here or 3 here 2 here 1 here and a 0 here so likewise you should be derive the terms here and then Come to the another example that is nickel 2 plus whereas nickel will be having atom number 28 uh, when it will be at zero oxygen state it having electronic configuration so argon 3d8 and 4s2 so then uh, nickel 2 plus the two electrons are gone from 4s2 and uh, the eight electrons are available in the uh, d orbital so when we fill the uh, eight electrons according to wundt's rule so then uh, by totally uh, this is the electronic configuration we will get it so that uh, when we sum the uh, ml values that is plus uh, there is two electrons are there so plus two and plus two totally becoming plus four and here also two electrons are there plus one and plus one so plus four and plus two is six and here it is two electrons will be having zero zero so then uh, remains same that is uh, four plus two is six again zero zero six only and here one electron is there we'll be having minus one six minus one is five and again this one electron is there will be having minus 2 and it will become uh, 3 so that when we sum the all the values here plus 2 plus 1 3 0 3 minus 2 and uh, sorry minus 1 it means uh, 2 and minus 2 means again 0 again plus 2 and again plus 3 total become total, total when you sum all the values here so we will get total plus 3 ml value is plus 3 and ms value is uh, one here because there are two electrons are paired up their spin is getting annihilated cancelled each other and here again two electrons are there their spin is again annihilated cancelled each other similarly here there are two electrons unpaired electrons are there here and both are having positive spin so plus up and plus up ms value is one so then j values j value is m l plus s that is three plus s is that is three plus one is 4 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so the values are lying between uh, 4 and uh, 2 is 3 and j value is 4 3 2 then spin multiplicity where M ms value is 1 automatically if it is s value is 1 so then it gives 2s plus 1 is 3 it gives a triplet 2s plus 1 is uh, 3 so we are getting triplet so that spin multi uh, term uh, spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is remains 3 3 and 3 and l is equal to ml values here 3 as l is equal to 3 so we are getting f term here so you can listen carefully here l is equal to 3 automatically you are getting what a f term so then so f f and f is remains here and j value the values are laying from what a 4 to 3 so 4 3 and a 2 here then uh, another example cobalt 3 plus 
So cobalt will be having atomic number 27. It when it will be having an electronic configuration argon 4s2 and 3d7. And cobalt 3 plus these two electrons are gone. So then you will get at uh, 3d7. So and this is the filling of electron according to Wundt's rule. There are seven electrons are there here. And uh, when you sum the YML values, that is plus two, plus one, zero, minus one, minus two, again plus two and uh, plus one. Uh, totally you will get plus three. And uh, the resultant spin is equal to 3 by 2 because there are three electrons are the unpaid electrons are there here and all are having positive spin so that one half plus half is one one plus half is 3 by 2 so that um, ms value is the total resultant spin is equal to 3 by 2 and spin multiplicity if it is 3 by 2 the spin multiplicity is become 4 that is given here Spin multiplicity is I'm not calculated here. So if it is uh, S is equal to 3 by 2, the spin multiplicity become 4, that is quadrate we are getting, and J value uh, L plus or minus S. So L is 3. So 3 plus 3 by 2 is 9 by 2, and 3 minus 3 by 2 is so 3 by 2. So that the values are lying between uh, 9 by 2 and 3 by 2, that is 7 by 2 and uh, pi by 2 and j value will be have four values will getting here that is from 9 by 2 to 3 by 2 and it's the term the spin multiplicity is 4 so 4 4 4 and 4 and uh, yeah whereas ml value is 3 so as ml value is 3 so we are getting f term you know l term will be become so yep yep and yep and yep yep here and j values are varying from 9 by 2 to 3 by 2 so 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 <coughs> here we'll be having a different example that is a s1 and a p1 configuration so let us see how to solve uh, this kind of configuration so there are two orbitals are there that mix s1 and a p1 so for s l is equal to 0 there are two are there here so l is equal to for s l is equal to 0 for e that is considered as l2 that is equal to 1 for s is for s l is equal to 0 for p l is equal to uh, 1 so s1 and l1 l1 and l2 and i consider 0 and 1 similarly for s1 spin is off because there is only one electron is there and for p s is equal to off again because again one electron is there so that uh, s1 and s2 is off and off so that the total resultant that means summation of what a l1 plus l2 is a resultant orbital angular momentum quantum number l is equal to l1 plus s2 l1 plus l2 that is equal to 1 and similarly so there is a two uh, electrons are there, one one electrons are there. So here is the resultant spin angular momentum quantum number. That is uh, this spin and this spin when you sum. That is it may be a plus up and plus up. I mean both are positive sign. Then it will be a uh, one and one is positive sign and one is negative sign. Then it become a zero. So there are two possibilities are there here. So zero and uh, one so that the resultant spin s values are varying uh, one is zero and another one is so one so let us see uh, if l is equal to one and s is equal to one so both are one and one so then j values l plus or minus one so one plus one is two one minus one is zero the value is laying between two and zero is one so the j values are so two one and a zero then two s plus one here uh, s is one i can we consider so if s is one it gives a triplet so three you are getting here so the terms are so spin multiplicity is three 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 because we are uh, considering two spins one we are getting one here so then the resultant spin multiplicity is three so three 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 and uh, where here l is equal to so one so if l is equal to one if it is that is called as p a state uh, p uh, p and p and j values uh, 210 that is 210. There are t3 terms will come here in this co combination that is l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1. Another combination if l is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0. So, because in this case, I we consider so this electron and this electron will be having opposite spin. So, then j value l plus or minus 1. So, l plus s is 1 l minus s is you know can you consider 1 so that uh, 2s plus 1 so your spin is 0 so this becomes 2 into 0 is 0 1 we are getting here so 2s spin multiplicity is 0 that is means s is equal to 0 means we are getting singlet so the term is so 1p1 so that's 
this configuration s1 p1 configuration where it will be having so 1 p1 term along with 3 p2 so 3 p1 and 3p0 that is totally four terms will arise us so and we this we can make out the differences because so this all the terms does not will be having similar energy because that according to wound's rule that i will explain in the coming classes so this will be having different similarly here i consider uh, s1 configuration and s1 and d1 configuration so for here s is for s l is equal to 0 and for d l is equal to 2 then when we summing this L1 plus L2, that is the resultant uh, orbital angular momentum quantum number L1 plus L2 is equal to 2, that is uh, 0 plus 2 is 2. And similarly, here one electron is there, here one electron is there. So S1 uh, plus S1 is up and S2 is also up because there one one electron is there. So then if the both electrons will be having pos positive sign, then it will be coming one R plus R is 1. And one electron will be having positive sign, and another electron will be having opposite spin. Opposite spin, then the resultant spin is spin multiplicity. Spin is uh, zero. Then we should consider the two combinations. One is L is equal to two, and S is zero. Another combination L is equal to two, and S is equal to one. So here L, I first case I consider L is equal to two, and S is equal to one. L plus or minus S is so 3 uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 minus 1 is uh, 1 so that is uh, between that uh, 3 and 1 is 2 that is 3 to 1 j values and here 2s plus 1 that is spin multiplicity where s we consider is 1 so if it is s is 1 means or uh, we'll get the spin multiplicity is 3 that is triplet then the term so where a l value is 2 so l value is 2 means the term will getting uh, state will getting d so that uh, spin multiplicity is 3, 3 and 3 and uh, term is, uh, state is uh, D, uh, D and D and J values are varying 3, 2, 1. So 3, 2, 1. And another combination L is equal to 2, S is equal to 0. So that uh, J value L plus S is uh, 2 plus 0 is 2. So that uh, we are getting 2. Uh, here 2s plus 1 so 2s plus 1 because s is equal to 0 here so in such cases uh, if it is 0 we are getting singlet so that spin multiplicity is uh, 1 here and whereas l is equal to 2 so l is equal to 2 we are getting uh, state is d and j value is only 1 that is 2 so that uh, sim, uh, terms are 3d3 3d2 3d1 and 1d so in such a case so we can derive the uh, terms uh, for any configuration thank you very much for your uh, listen, listening and kind attention